Good morning, and welcome to Redeemer Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Gary Lodeholt. I remember several years ago when my Thursday Bible study class had completed a study of Genesis. Throughout that study, we had focused on the many new beginnings God had brought about. We focused particularly on one verse in chapter 11 that mentioned Abraham's wife, Sarah, and how that one verse seemed to apply to our lives over and over. The Bible went through a list of generations and came down to Abraham and Sarah and then said, Now Sarah was barren. She had no children. We talked about how that was a dead end. There was no future. It was over. And then, God. God did something unexpected, and there was a new beginning. It happened over and over in Genesis. It happens over and over in our lives. Somehow the next book we studied was Revelation. We jumped from the beginning of the Bible to the very end, and after making our way through all the chaos and thunder of Revelation, we came to chapter 21, where after all of this, God speaks for the very first time. Revelation 21.5 says, and the one who was seated on the throne said, See, I am making all things new. From the beginning to the end of the Bible, God's story is about new beginnings. New beginnings is what we are talking about this week as we enter the new year. And as I have said, they are all over the Bible. The problem was narrowing down my choices to talk about. Today we want to focus on the woman caught in adultery. If ever there is a story about new beginnings, this one is it. The story is familiar to us, and not just because we've heard it before. In some ways we have probably lived it too. Jesus' opponents brought to him a woman who had been caught in adultery. Now in those days this was a capital crime. The Old Testament laws were clear. She should be stoned to death. It isn't fair that the woman would be blamed and the man could get off scot-free. But that's how things were then. So they brought her to Jesus and to see what he would say about the situation. They stood around waiting expectantly while Jesus drew absently in the dirt. Finally, without really looking up, Jesus said, those of you without sin can cast the first stone. I'm sure there was a time of silence as people digested Jesus' words. One of the sounds I would most like to hear is the thud of that first stone dropping from someone's hand and hitting the ground. And then that one thud inviting and welcoming other thuds as stones fell and her accusers wandered away. Finally, Jesus looked up to find the woman alone. Neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more, he said. The only one who could have thrown a stone didn't. The only one who could have thrown a stone didn't. It's a powerful, powerful story of forgiveness and grace. Her life was at an end. Jesus gave her a new beginning. Jesus also invited her into a new way of being. Forsake this old, destructive, empty, dead-end way of life, he urged her. Go and sin no more. Go and embrace the fullness of life in God. We have the same invitation. God gives us a new beginning. Embrace it. Be made new. Thanks for watching, and remember to let this day belong to God.